How would you like to have a dazzling future, one that is bright and sizzling? Is that even possible in today's doom and gloom economy? Hi, this is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz, and I am passionate about helping people achieve dazzling futures by showing them how they can build a sizzling brand. So how can you achieve that dazzling future? Well, here are a few ideas for you and I hope they help you as they have helped me. First of all, cling to Jesus. You know, these last few years, my family and I have been greatly affected by the economy. We had a foreclosure of a rental property and debts as a result and an unsteady paycheck in the case of my husband. So, you know, we have had to deal with this head on. You know, at first, at first it took, I would say that we kind of buried our heads in the sand and hoped it would all go away. But we have had to really think through how we are going to have a dazzling future. And I have had to particularly cling to Jesus. He promised us that we would have a future and a hope. He is not going to leave us. In fact, this journey has been for me a journey of realizing that I matter and that God is not going to abandon me. I had so many fears that God was just going to leave me in this situation, but He's not. He cares that I have a dazzling future. He cares that you have a dazzling future. You know, he, Jesus said that he came to give us life and life abundantly. He is not a God of scarcity and fear. He is a God of abundance and joy. In fact, years ago, the day, the very day that I met my husband on a blind date, I flipped my Bible open and I happened to come across Psalm 113. And it talks about how he would make a barren woman um, have children. And that was my deepest desire was to have children. And that he would set me with the princes of his people. And to me, that meant that I was going to be successful. It didn't mean to me that I was going to be necessarily famous. You know, I'm not trying to be the next Amy Grant or anything like that. I just want to be who God made me to be. And that gave me incredible courage and that happened to be the very night that I met my husband and so three years later we're married we have a child and now I'm getting really serious about my business and things are happening it's coming true so he promised me that this would happen but God has been more concerned with what's in my heart than what's in my pocketbook and he's changing that he's showing me that he does care and that he is my CEO. I'm just the worker bee. Every single day, I pray with him. I am with him, starting out in the morning. What do you want me to do today, God? What have you called me to? And I have found that as I am faithful to that, incredible opportunities open up. This one time, I had decided, okay, I really need to do this PDF. And I worked on it all Thanksgiving week. Instead of taking time off, I worked hard, even harder than I do normally. And even on Thanksgiving Day, I worked seven days that week, or seven hours that week. But what was really interesting is that I had put up this website for this new PDF I was working on. And not two minutes later, I got a phone call from someone back east, just so excited about what I was doing that she had to connect with me. And it turned out that I was on a pad, she asked me to be on a podcast interview. And that was the first of three successive, successive interviews that came up, just kind of out of the blue. And it was, you know, a couple weeks before that, I was, it wasn't even a prayer, it was just a thought. You know, I really need to have some interviews online. And it was nothing I even sought, it just came together. And the reason it did is because I have been clinging to Jesus as best as I can, you know, I'm not perfect, and I, I have my moments, believe me, of, of doubting. But every day I really strive to do what He's called me to do and leave the results to Him. So that is one of the best things that you could do. Is cling to Him. You know, have that daily time with Him. So important. Be in the Word. It's, it's just, it's so important to rely on Him, depend on Him. Don't, you know, depending on anybody else besides Him just will lead you down disappointment because everybody else will disappoint you eventually because nobody's perfect. 
but Jesus is perfect. So cling to him. That is the first way that you can have a dazzling future. Now the second way that you can have a dazzling future is to discover your callings. Now let me just tell you where or, or how that's come to be for me. Many years ago, I was working full time as a graphic artist in a Christian organization and I didn't have a clear path of what my passions and callings were and so I got sidetracked and I made some huge mistakes in my life. But through work, I had this opportunity to go to a assessment. It was a weekend meeting kind of thing and I evaluated my skills, my experience, my life experience, my values, my personality, spiritual gifts, all of it. It was a whole weekend of this. And so I wrote all of these things down and through that I was able to identify five different callings that I felt God had given me. And it was so clear to me, it was clear as a bell. And that has helped me since then make better decisions and it's helped me say no to things that I know that I'm not called to. And since that time, not very long after I identified those five callings, those things started falling into place. The first thing that happened was I met my husband, not long after that happened. So it's so important to know that. And the other thing about your callings is to know what your passions are. You know, the Bible says without vision, people perish. And without vision, without a passion, without callings, you know, we're barely just alive. We're just kind of getting through the tyranny of the urgency and, and going through the motions. But life is so much bigger than that. than that. We only get one shot. So, you know, defining those passions is so important. That's going to give you the direction that you need to reach for your dreams. You know, several years ago, I realized that what I really wanted in my life, part of my life, or one goal I have, is to be a wildly successful entrepreneur. And it took me a long time to accept the fact that that's who God made me to be, and that was all right. And it was okay to go for it. And I had to make a decision that I was going to be that wildly successful entrepreneur. And it just took you know, really saying, okay, well, this is my passion. This is what I love because I love to start new things. And that's the other thing. You know, I've been, I have a spiritual gift of what's called apostleship, which means basically that I start new things. That is what I do. And I'm always thinking, well, what if, or why not? Or I see a problem and I think, well, here's a solution. And nobody has ever thought about those kinds of things. So, you know, that those are my callings and my passions. And knowing them has given me a clarity and it's given me a why. You know, why do I work on my business every day? Why do I homeschool my child? You know, and, and that's so important to me because I have a why for my life. I know what I want and I, I know what I need to get to do to get there. And that brings me to the third way that you can have a future that dazzles, a dazzling future. And that is to make a plan. Several years ago, I, like I said, I made this decision. I was going to be a wildly successful entrepreneur. I was really going to go for it. And I was going to take my business seriously. Before then, it was a hobby. And every other kind of obstacle, I just let it make my business the last thing. And so my business kept getting put on the shelf, on the back burner for years. And so I went nowhere with my business and it was very frustrating. But then I made this plan and I decided that I was going to become a wildly successful entrepreneur. So I decided that I was going to learn everything that I could about internet marketing because I saw the power that the internet has. And I had always wanted to go back to school. My advisor in college told me that I was a prime candidate for graduate school, but I don't see the money and I don't see the time and I don't even really see a purpose for going back to a formal school but I do see a purpose in learning everything I can about internet marketing and so that's what I did I created my own self-study course and I joined organizations where I could get incredible training and so that's what I've done and the Bible verse that really inspired me and I'm paraphrasing this is a noble woman 
devises a noble plan, and by that noble plan, she stands. And that is what I'm doing. You know, I was also very motivated by Proverbs 31. I wanted to be that Proverbs 31 woman. And that Proverbs 31 woman, she knew that her hands, the work of her hands, were profitable. And so, you know, that's where I'm coming from, too. I really want to help contribute to my family and to be a partner with my husband in business. So that is another one of our plans is that we want to stop relying on his paycheck, but both of us be home and have multiple streams of income. So we've got a vision, we've got a path, and we work harder than that every day. And you know, it's about it's about the journey not so much about the destination. You know, yeah, I can't wait for that day when my husband is able to come home and work from home. But in the meantime, it's a journey and there is there is so much to learn through this plan. And the other thing that that we need to plan is our devotional time. It's so easy to let that slide. And you know, I I read a statistics or or I heard that there's a report that very few believers actually have devotionals. And it's, it's really sad because being in the Word is the best plan you can have for your life to make a dazzling future. Because the Bible is just so full of inspiration, and not just inspiration, but life-giving wisdom, that if you live by it on a daily basis, it will change you. And that's what's been happening to me. So there are the three ways to have a sizzling, dazzling future. One, cling to Jesus. Two, discover your callings. Three, make a plan. If you don't do those three things, then you will have a dazzling future. Would you like to know more ways that you could have a sizzling, dazzling future? Well, one of those ways is to create a business, to have your own economy, and that is why I'm passionate about passion-centered branding. And so I have created a free course that you can take at MakeYourBrandSizzle.com. And there you will learn how you can make a sizzling brand for yourself. And that is going to give you a dazzling future. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this Brand Identity Mentor blog. And made together, we reach new heights in our lives and beyond. This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz signing off.